Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Microbes Brush Pack for Corel Painter. I'm going to start with the first brush called Bacteria. Many of these brushes are glow brushes, meaning that they're going to build up gradually to a lighter color. So the color you'll want to choose will be a darker color than what you'd expect to get. I'm going to choose this dark magenta color, and I'm going to be painting on a new layer. I'm going to draw a very quick C shape, and you can see that I get these segmented bacteria. I'll do an S shape now, and you can see I get an S shaped bacteria. I can do a straight line down and I can get a straight bacteria, or I can tap with this brush if I want to create the segments one at a time. The speed at which you make the stroke is very important. You don't want to do it too fast because there be gaps between the bacteria segments. And you want something kind of like that. You also have control over the color variability. I can add some hue variability. And if I choose a brighter color, then you can see I can add some variation in color. I don't necessarily have to do hue. I could do value. That's lightness and darkness. Or I could even do saturation but you really don't want it to vary too much, so I would recommend lower settings for these. But that'll help your bacteria look a little less flat. I'm gonna create a new layer, and let's move on to the next brush, which is called Colonies. I'm gonna select a yellow, orange, brown color like this. And I'll go ahead and paint, and you can see I get these colonies of microbes that are clumped together. This brush is utilizing the flow map. If we go into the advanced brush controls, and we look under particles common, Here's where we can control the flow map influence on the particles. If we increase this, then our clumps are going to stick together more, and it will change the pattern that we get. You can also switch the flow map to something else, such as fine dots. And now if I paint, you can see I get more of a dotted pattern. Moving on to the next brush, we have diatoms. I'm going to select a yellow-green color like this, and I'll just simply tap to create these triangular diatoms. Now the harder you press, the thicker and bigger the diatom will be. The lighter and shorter you press, the thinner the outline of the diatom. You want something that's pretty thick like this. If you're having trouble getting one that's the right size, you can always paint it and then free transform it to make it smaller. Now if you want diatoms that are different shapes, you can change the count of the particles. Up here in the properties bar, I can look under count, and I want to increase this by very small values. I'm going to try just changing it to two. Now I can get a diamond or square-shaped diatom. Moving on to the next brush, we have filaments. I'm going to switch to a dark red like this. And with filaments, you just tap and hold, and just keep holding and let those filaments build up. Lift your pen up, tap and hold, and you can create this web-like pattern. This brush can utilize the flow map, so if we go to our advanced brush controls, and we look under particles common, here we can control the flow map. If I reduce this, then I'm going to get thinner filaments. And if I increase this, then I get filaments that are more random and jagged. But you don't want to increase it too far. The next brush is flagellum, but we're going to come back to that in just a bit. Let's move on to fossilized. I'm going to select a dark gray color like this, and I'll just paint a short stroke, and that creates a fossilized bacterium. You could also draw individual segments like this. This brush can also utilize the count, so I can make the count lower, and I'll get fossils that are more angular, or I can increase it, and I can get fossils that are more rounded. The next brush is called Fungi. I'm gonna pull down a quick stroke here, I'll do a few of these, and I can get this fungus-like pattern. I can have a bunch of these growing on something. Make my brush smaller, and I can have little things coming off of this. And I can make something like that. The next brush is called Helminth. A Helminth is a microscopic worm. I want to use kind of a darker blue-green color like this. And if you use light pressure, you'll get a thinner line. If you use heavier pressure, you'll get a thicker line. And you can get a nice worm like this. If you make your brush bigger, you'll get a thicker worm. If you make your brush thinner, then you'll get a thinner worm. Now you can also control the texture of the worm. You can do that using the papers panel. That's found under Windows, Paper Panels, Papers. I'm going to change my paper to Pebble Board. I'll increase the scale of the paper, and I'll paint a stroke, and you can see that the pattern is a bit different in the texture. The next brush is called Long Virus. This is a virus cell with long arms. I'm going to tap and hold and let it build up. Tap and hold again in the same place and build up more arms and just keep tapping and holding until I have as many arms as I want. 
If I go to Particles Common in the Advanced Brush Controls, I can control the count, and then it'll give me many more arms each time I tap. The next brush is called Membrane. This is the translucent membrane of a microbe. I'm going to go ahead and set my paper back to basic paper. Now this particular brush works best on a dark background, so I'll just do it on this dark area here. Basically, we just want to draw a round shape like this that connects from end to end. We have our nice membrane. Now you can, of course, do it on a lighter color if you want, but it doesn't quite look the same. It may take some experimenting to find a color that works. We can also change the paper texture to something else. If we wanted small dots, we could use that. And now we'll get a dotted pattern inside of our membrane. Could try marbled substrate. And then we have a texture that looks more appropriate. We'll go back a bit to the flagellum that we didn't get to look at yet, and we'll add the flagellum to this microbe that we created here. A flagellum is an appendage, so we'll just draw something like this using pen pressure to taper it off. Now we have a nice flagellum. You can also tap with this to create some little spherical bacteria. Maybe these were consumed by this microbe. Now the color does vary a bit in this stroke, and you have control over that. You can also add color variability to this brush. I can add some hue variability. Now you can see I can get a few more colors going on in this flagellum. Just as well, I could increase the value and I could get some texture that way without changing the hue color. Moving back down, the next brush is called Micromat. Go ahead and choose a blue gray color like this and I'll paint up here and this creates mats of microorganisms all clumped together. You can change the color variability of this brush too. I can increase the hue. Then I'll get some other colors going on here. Moving on to the next brush, we have Mold. I think most of us know what Mold is. You paint with this brush, and if you press down hard, you'll get bigger clumps of mold that are bigger spores. If you press lighter, you'll get fewer, smaller spores. You can control the color variability of this mold as well. If you want there to be a more consistent color, you can lower the value variability. Or if you want there to be more contrast, you can increase it. The next brush is called Protozoa. These are tiny microbes of various shapes and sizes. You simply tap and hold, and that will create a random shape each time. So I'm just tapping in these protozoa. You can vary the color of the protozoa as well. I'm going to increase the hue and increase the smoothness a bit. I can get some protozoa that have multiple colors within them. Moving on down to the next brush, we have Spirochet. These are spiral-shaped worms. All I need to do is just draw a stroke, and it's wavy all on its own. You can vary the color of these as well. And finally, our last brush is called Virus Cell. You just tap really quickly in one place, and then keep tapping to build it up like that, and you have your nice clumpy virus cell. Now you have to kind of find the right color here, because if it's too dark, it won't work, and if it's too light, it'll build up too quickly. So you want something that's just right. So there you go, that's a demonstration of how to use the Microbes Brush Pack for Corel Painter. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.